fourth round and there was considerable relief when a midweek Zenith Cup tie enabled captain Graham Roberts to complete a two-match ban and so return to the team for what looks the trickiest tie of the round. Kerry Dixon's recent form has renewed calls for his return to the England squad, but third division Bristol City have their own goal scorer who demands respect. Bob Taylor's 17 goals in 28 games includes one in each round of the FA Cup, and he's supported by a City side top of Division 3 and at full strength. Referee David Phillips of Barnsley starts the match. Bristol City in the red shirts attacking the goal to the right. And an early touch for Ronnie Sinclair. Chelsea will be conscious of being dumped out of the Littlewoods Cup at Scarborough earlier this season. Chelsea goalkeeper Dave Besant, one of three players on the field who've been FA Cup winners. Llewellyn, the right back, quickly pressured by Dorigo. Moncow, hops for safety. And Bristol City with a throw. Llewellyn looks for support, finds his captain, Newman. Bumstead for Chelsea. For a good strong tackle by Rennie. It's the second time he's gone in strong. John Bailey. Dorigo, good strong header. Good flick on by Wilson. Dixon hasn't got much support. It's a bit untidy. Gavin. Got good pace, this boy. Oh, and a good strong tackle, Moncow. Play waved on. Glenn Humphreys didn't pull back, did he? And Bristol City are all geared up for a tough cup tie. So conscious, Joe Jordan, that this is their chance to win it here at home today. And Besson will have to come out of his area. And he didn't find touch. Domingo shows a little bit of skill and gives it away. Hooked in by Gavin to Turner. And away by Clark. Shelton. Llewellyn. Bristol City keeping possession. Hit from a long way and it's worth doing. Oh, they've missed it. They've all missed it. And it's in. Four minutes. Robbie Turner. What a beginning for third division Bristol. But what a mistake by Dave Besant. Well, it's a long way, isn't it? But it's always worth it in these sticky conditions. Besant had it, and then he didn't. Taylor was almost in. Robbie Turner, seventh of the season. What a gift. No matter which way you look at this goal, it has to go down as a really bad mistake by Dave Besant. Taylor almost got it, and it was so easy for Turner. Chelsea might question whether Taylor was in an offside position when the ball went in, but the referee had no hesitation. Punted forward by Newman again, they're just looking for the pace of Smith. And Clark concedes the throw. And he faces a busy afternoon, Steve Clark, at right back. Newman thought about it from a long way out. And Rennie missed the tackle. This is Lasso for Chelsea have got to play a spare. Dixon. Faced by Llewellyn, who blocked the shot. And once again, Bristol City do a very tidy job. Turner, oh well, there wasn't a lot of doubt about that, was there? Robbie Turner face down in the mud, and Mr Phillips has seen one tackle like that too many from Kenneth Moncow. And he becomes the first player cautioned. Well, at best, you'd say it was clumsy. Dorigo. McAllister. Good shot. Well, I think it was uh, Rennie who managed to take the pace off it and made it easier for Sinclair. Missed them all. Taylor. Oh, and he should have looked for Gavin, shouldn't he? 
it was another gift from Chelsea. Besson's telling the defenders they should have shouted. What a let-off for Chelsea. Five minutes to go to half-time, and they almost ended the half as they'd started the first. Taylor's shot was always wide of the target, but what a mix-up in the Chelsea defence. And they're all looking at the referee, wondering when he's going to blow his whistle. McAllister, right foot, wide of the target. And finally, David Phillips decides we've had enough. 45 minutes plus an extra three. But a highly satisfactory first half for third division Bristol City with that gifted opening goal by Turner after four minutes and so close to getting a second just before half time. Bristol City won, first division Chelsea nil. It's 81 years since Bristol City reached the FA Cup final, losing to Manchester United in a game played at the Crystal Palace. But these home supporters must be confident of seeing their side get through to the fifth round of the FA Cup on the evidence of their first half performance and Chelsea well one wonders what was said in the dressing room because they'll have to do an awful lot more Bumstead for Dixon to chase Newman's with him Llewellyn the flick on by Gavin and Moncow Roberts Roberts again looks for Clark making a forward run and that's Smith back to cover the fullbacks foray forward. Oh, well taken. Can he keep it in play? We haven't seen too much of Bob Taylor. Bristol City's uh, leading marksman with 17 goals, and incidentally, the only man left in the competition who scored in every round. Smith, Johnson, there might be something on here for City. Taylor, Shelton, oh, they're queuing up, Turner, is it number two? Yes, the referee looks at the linesman, Chelsea look at everybody. Bristol City lead by two goals to nil, both scored by Robbie Turner. And what a catalogue of mistakes. They were queuing up Bristol City to score that. Smith uses his pace, Jonsson comes across to cover, but he hooks it around the Norwegian international. Taylor lays it back to Shelton. Shelton thought about having a go, and then picked out Turner. It's easy. It actually hits the post and hasn't gone in until Turner confirms it. They're all looking at the linesman on the near side, but it's 2-0. 56 minutes gone. McAllister. Dixon, he gets a cross in, there's nobody there. Well, it's still in play, and the shot finally was from Clark. It's a sticky pitch, and sometimes the ball doesn't quite run as the players expect. I think one or two of them thought that was going to go behind. A good flick on by Turner. Oh, he's almost sold Besson short. Smith fed by Taylor. Shelton wants it. Oh, Moncow needed to win that, didn't he? Rennie couldn't control it. And now Lasso can break. There's a lot of space on for Chelsea. They've got five against four. And that was desperate. Well, should Bailey have let it run for what would have been a corner? It might have been advisable. The ball ran right along the line. Clark snapshot. And the Wiseman gives that to Bristol City. Well, I don't think he quite intended that as it looks or so. Oh, did he? But the referee's called him over and has reached for the top pocket and he waves away Graham Roberts. Well, that's sad, isn't it? A young player, I think his ninth appearance for Chelsea. 
And the name of Graham Lasso looks destined to go into the book alongside that of Moncal. Not really reflecting malice, just disappointment at the way the afternoon has gone. In fact, he wasn't even looking at uh, Llewellyn when he did it. Newman. Bumstead picks up that. McAllister. Oh, yes, Wilson. Kevin Wilson pulls a goal back for Chelsea with seven minutes left and has resurrected the ball and sprinted back to the halfway line. And no wonder that Chelsea want to get on with it. Kevin Wilson's 16th goal of the season. He now equals... Uh, Kerry Dixon as the top Chelsea marksman with 16. And that was a goal fashioned out of nothing. McAllister's cross in. Wilson had got away from the markers for the first time in the match. A header to beat Sinclair. Well, that's 84 minutes gone. Chelsea at least have uh, made the scoreline a little bit more decent and they've given themselves a glimmer. And some of the fans on that far side were beginning to leave. I'm sure in confidence that Bristol City were through, but it's not over yet. Dixon. Newman with him. And that'll concede a corner. And it may be a last desperate five minutes for Bristol City. Callister to take it. A lot of pointing and a lot of urgent defending required by the third division side. Bumstead. Oh, it was well placed. Oh, and the keeper. Oh. Well, clattered into the post. And I'm sure he's happy to have it in his hands. It was beautifully placed by Bumstead. He picked out the top corner with absolute perfection. McAllister's corner, it's headed out to Bumstead just outside the penalty area and he shows real cool presence of mind. It's destined for the far corner. The keeper got his hands to it and lost it. Well, almost decapitated himself against the post. Well, he hasn't scored yet this season, John Bumstead. What a start that would have been. That showed you how brave goalkeepers have got to be. Pushing. Bumstead and the Chelsea support have finally found their voices. We've not heard a lot from them. Offside. Newman. Rennie. Roberts. Tries to find Dorigo. This is Masso. Dixon, Wilson, oh, see, keeper saved it. He didn't know where it had gone, but he did enough. And Kevin Wilson, who scored two goals in each of the last two games, saw the possibility of a second in this match slip away. Three minutes left, and Chelsea almost got a replay, and they might yet. 14 there is the sub, David Lee. And the Bristol support will cheer every diving, clearing header. Chelsea's ball. Nicely found by Dixon. Intelligent play. But he saved it. And I wonder how strict he'll be on his timekeeping in the second half, David Phillips. He added almost three minutes on to the first half because of stoppages. And Chelsea penalised. Bristol City with a free kick. Turner. Turner, is this his hat trick? He struck it well. This will be it, Gavin. It's the last minute of the match. And Mark Gavin has made it 3 1 to third division Bristol City. And Chelsea are extinguished.
Bailey's free kick, who did he find? Well, Robbie Turner. He's put a few pounds on his valuation today, hasn't he? He's had a stormer. He gets around inside Jonsson, looks for his hat-trick. A quality save from Bessent, but there's two coming in, and Gavin makes it 3-1. Bailey Clark when Chelsea played here in the third round of the FA Cup 41 years ago they won 3-1 today the scoreline is reversed Lasso and there's the whistle it's a famous day in the history of Bristol City they all want the pictures of the manager Joe Jordan Robbie Turner will make the pictures in the local papers and the headlines tomorrow.